you feeling? Uh, two games, three uh, receptions. How you feeling? Man, uh, I mean, I get the ball. You know, I just do what I gotta do to make plays on the defense. I mean, it's not. It's not something I'm used. I mean, new to. I've, I've been doing it, so I'm not really surprised. I mean, I should have had another one. So I mean, I, you know, I, I hold myself at high standards to to make make plays, and that's what I should have done. Marcus, it's only three games, but you guys have already said How how motivating is that for you guys? Uh, kind of get out of that. I mean, we're not really worried about that. It's, you know, it's game two. It's, you know, we're trying to focus on the next game and going out the next game. We hold that guy to, you know, limited passing yards. And then, you know, our, our rating will come back down week after week. So as, as long as we do our job going into the next game, then we don't really have to worry about that. But with, with, the way, the way, with the way that game ended, though, is there more urgency wanting to get to that next game and play that next game? I mean, last week was last week. This week, you know, we're we just going to prepare and get ready for get ready for the game. I mean, we, we're going to take our time this week and dial in to the things that we need to do to prepare for this game so so we don't have what we had last week. And Monday we talked to John and he said, hey, these rookies have to grow up fast back here. You're a veteran. Is What do you say to those guys? I mean, I've been in that situation before. I've been, I've been in, I've, I missed a lot of plays in my career. I mean, it's not just being a rookie. It's, it's any of us. Veterans miss plays all the time. So, you know, those guys, I just talk to them, say, hey, the next play is going to be your best play. You don't worry about that. I mean, you got to have a short-term memory as a, as a DB all the time. You're on an island, and I mean, a lot of people see that, and they're like, oh, he may, no, it's, it's all of us, a collective, a collective unit. And if we all help out, then, you know, we don't have to worry about him, um, any of those guys missing plays. So many guys talked about communications in the locker room right after the game. Um, to your mind, what's the best way to clean that up? Man, just do it out in practice. Talk about it in the film room, and you know, if we keep doing that week in and week out, it will take care of itself on the field on the game day. Marcus, when we were walking in, we were allowed to watch for three minutes practice. We could hear you all the way from almost the media room talking. Would you say that's a focus this week? <laughs> Not you in particular, but just the defensive backs as a whole. I mean, that's been our focus since OTAs, training camp. I mean. I mean, you probably must not have been listening to all the other times we've been yelling out here, but we, we communicate every single day. and it's, it's not nothing new that we're doing now. It's just we, we're just doing it. You probably are just listening better. <laughs> Marcus, how encouraged are you by the fast start that you've had? You know, new team, you get three picks, you know, in these first two games. How encouraged are you by that? Man, it is what it is. I mean, I just I just come out here and try to do my job and and go out there and try to do the best I can to help our team get a win. I, I'm not really focused on my individual goals. I'm just focused on us getting those wins week in and week out. And and I feel like that's what I came here to do. How do you mentally wrap your head around the three picks that were really, I mean, the high dip, the degree of difficulty and the one ball that's there that would have been easier is it made just as a play, as a playmate, you're like, hey, is that just football? How'd that happen? Man, I mean, uh, my rookie year, my first pick was a one-hand interception. So, I mean, I'm not really – I'm not new to this. I've, I've been doing it um, – I mean, I played receiver in high school. So, I, these are all just plays that I've been making since I've been since I've been younger, and I just continue to do it as if it was routine. Marcus, you talked about the rookies. Did you, uh, you know, since Sunday's game, kind of put your arm around Kyle Hamilton and, and just give him some words of advice? Man, I mean, we talk we talk all the time. It's not just just because you miss a play. We talk every every day. He, I mean, he's a good player. He comes out here ready to work every single week. And I mean, he okay. He made, made one one play. He didn't make it. Oh, oh well. Now it's time to come back next week and go out there and, and ball. We trust him. We we see him every day working hard in the film room. I, I mean, I trust all those guys out there. We all trust each other. We lean on each other. That's why we're together. And it's all about the team. Is it harder when you do have guys shuffling in and out as much as they were on Sunday because you have some guys who are on a pitch count? I'm sorry. Can you... is, is, it, is, it, is the communication, is it, is it any more difficult when you have a lot of substitutions in the secondary? Uh, I don't think so. I think we, we just got to be on point every single play. It's just one play at a time. And after you do that, it should be pretty easy and simple. What do you see out of Mac Jones uh, and prepping for him? He's sick. What do you see out of Mac Jones in prepping for him? Uh, he, you know, he's a good quarterback. I, I faced him before. He, you know, he likes to get the ball out quick. He, I mean, he's a he's a talented guy. You know, we just get some pressure on him, take the ball away. We'll be all right. Marcus, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sure, thanks.